This Veterans Day, Fox Sports salutes the warriors among us. I faced many obstacles playing basketball. Some thought I was too small. Others didn't think I was athletic enough. Well, I grew tall and I grew strong and I became athletic enough. In high school, I played basketball as a way to go to school. But sometimes I clashed with my teammates because I took the game so seriously. It was the most important thing in my life. But I had to learn that not everyone played the game for the same reason. Those clashes taught me something. I learned that to be successful, you need to find a way to work with all types of people. Overcoming those challenges helped prepare me for a career in the U.S. military. And my whole life, I felt a call. On June 25th, 2011, I re-enlisted in the Marine Corps. It would be my third and final deployment. My battalion was sent to the Helmand province in Afghanistan with orders to conduct a raid at sunup the next morning. We reached the compound by nightfall and set up security before beginning to rest for the night. I remember looking up at the night sky and thinking about how far I've come. Early the next morning, while preparing to go out on the raid, I stepped in an IED that had been hidden in our compound. My left leg was blown off above the knee. My right leg suffered an infection so bad that it had to be amputated along with my right hip and a half of my pelvis. The worst part, I suffered a severe brain injury, leaving me unconscious for two months. The road was long and dark. My memory was shot. I had to relearn how to talk and write. Most people said I would never walk again. Through my recovery, I not only walked again, but would do things that were said to be impossible. I have surfed competitions in Hawaii, competed in multiple CrossFit contests, completed eight marathons on my hand cycle, and embarked on a 63-day ride across America. I told my wife I had no interest in being around the game of basketball, but that didn't stop her from volunteering me to coach for the Escondido Police Athletic League. She responded, our daughter's playing. That was all I needed to hear. As the first practice approached, I was getting nervous. My wife said to me, you have played this game for years. The fact that you are missing your legs won't matter to the kids. She was right. I was just a coach. I overcame many worries in that moment. So thank you to the many people who have helped me along the way. But also thank you basketball for pushing me. And most importantly, for waiting for me during this important part of my journey. Sincerely, Torangal.